Praise God, brothers and sisters. I hope all of you can hear me. Uh, it's a wonderful, beautiful morning, and our hearts rejoice because God is with us this morning, and He is here present in this congregation, in this fellowship, with us uh, to guide us and to partake with us in, in our peace and in our joy. Um, so today for the Psalms reading, we'll be continuing on what we were just now singing. It's, it's, it's a, a beautiful coincidence, right? God places, orchestrates things. So we were singing hallelujah to the Lord. And we will continue doing that in our Psalms reading also. So we'll turn to the last book of Psalms, our last chapter of Psalms, Psalms 150. It's a very short psalm, but a very important psalm. And I will in a moment explain why I feel that this is a very important psalm. So I'm going to read out the psalm, psalm number 150. So I'm using a NIV version. And here it goes. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his act of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with strings and flute. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So one unique um, aspect about this chapter is it's, uh, it's, it's a chapter, it's the only chapter in the Bible which uh, starts with hallelujah in the beginning and ends with hallelujah in the end. So the, uh, the, the, it, it, the, some of the versions like the MSG version or the, uh, 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 the, the CSB versions, all those uh, note the first and the last version as, praise, as hallelujah. The praise the Lord is nothing but hallelujah or the Hebrew word hallelujah. So this is the only, only chapter in the book in the, in the Bible where it starts with a hallelujah and hence with a hallelujah. So this book, this chapter has a very clear message. One, we need to praise God. And two, how we should praise God, right? So very clear message. The first two uh, verses talks about why we should praise him. And the next few verses talks about how we should praise him. So uh, another unique thing I found is uh, in a lot of uh, praise and glorifying Psalms in, in, in the book of Psalms deals with, uh, or at least touches on praising God for what he has done to us, okay? He has saved us, he has protected us, he has given us everything. And that's one reason for praising him, right? But in this chapter, we see that none of those reasons are here. In this chapter, it says we should praise God for his greatness, right? His greatness is unfathomable to us. His greatness, no human mind or brain can think about how great is our God. He is all powerful, all good mighty God, and we cannot perceive or conceive God with our small brains. It's impossible. It's totally impossible to even think about his creation, even think about how the heavens or the, how the hells would be. Everything, God is the, is, is the, is the creator of everything. And, and he is above and beyond our imagination. He is so great, and we should praise him morning, day, every time for how great he is. So just for a moment, let's think about it. Like uh, 
why did God send us on to this earth? Okay, uh, or what is the objective of uh, humans on this earth? Well, why did he create it and send us to this earth? Like uh, probably God sent humans to this earth to attain spirituality, okay? Uh, or maybe to attain some morality or some grounds of morality or some, some big ground of piety or some piety is like you, 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 you are at the highest level of uh, uh, um, following the obligations of your religion. So that's a piety. So God did not call us to be spiritual because salvation is his. The, 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 if you go back a few Psalms and you'll read that salvation doesn't come with our work. It comes because God has selected us and granted that salvation to us. It's nothing of our work. So God's purpose for us to send us on to this earth was never to attain a spirituality. He was never uh, needed us to go onto this earth and work hard and attain a spiritual ground so that we qualify for, for uh, his kingdom. Or his, his purpose was not to send us onto this earth and uh, gain heights of morality. And we don't have to talk in detail about the morality of humans that we have created uh, in these days. Or it was not his purpose to send us uh, and achieve some kind of a great r religious standing in this world. We, we, we hear about great, great preachers, great uh, religious uh, 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 teachers, everything. That, that, that again is not a purpose. Everyone is equal in God's eyes. His purpose to send us was as humans, day and night, we have to glorify God. If we do that, we fulfill the purpose of God. We completely rely on God, cry out unto him, glorify him, praise him, sing hallelujah to him. That's the purpose for his creation. That's the purpose. That's the, that's the thing in this uh, uh, the, 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 uh, chapter says, everything that has breath, everything that has breath, sing hallelujah to the God. How beautiful it is, right? We, we, we are here to glorify God and sing his praise and, 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 and make sounds of his praise, of his great deeds. And I, I just want to touch more on this. I talk about like three words, like giving praise to him, singing hallelujah unto him and glorifying him. So it, it, all these are very close things. When you think about the word hallelujah, it, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Hebrew word, which is made up of two words, hallelujah. The last word is hallelujah. Yah is Yahweh and hallelujah is praise. So how does it work out together? Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah is let's praise the Lord. Or it can be said that praise ye to the Lord. Praise ye to the Lord. And, and it's we all call, say about hallelujah. It's a Hebrew word, right? And we all talk about praise God. It's the same thing. And, 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 and it's, if you read about this Psalms once again, and I'm going to do that. So it, it connects the dots well. The first verse says, hallelujah. The first word is hallelujah. Verse one, part one is hallelujah. Hallelujah in his sanctuary. Hallelujah, God in his mighty heavens. Hallelujah for his acts of power. Hallelujah for his surpassing greatness. Hallelujah with the sound of the trumpets. Hallelujah with the harp and lyre. Hallelujah with trampoline and dancing. Hallelujah with strings and flute. Hallelujah with clash of cymbals. Hallelujah with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath, hallelujah and hallelujah. So it's so beautiful, right? We, 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 we see that the praising God singing hallelujah unto him. This is a song, this is a psalm, this is a song, like we are singing and there's a song, uh, raise your hallelujah unto him, right? So that's a very famous song and that's what 
we, we call out unto him and praise him for how great he is. And, and if, if we go on and continue again reading this thing, it's the same word if you, if you take off the praise word and put glorify, and that also fits well over here. And there's a very small difference between the word glorify and praise. I can praise my wife for the great cooking she does, but I won't glorify her for, for that, right? So glorification is only meant for, for, for an achievement or for, for, a, for, for an entity which is beyond and above. We, we cannot glorify anything except for God, period. Nothing else can be glorified than God. We can praise everything, but glorifying only, our glory should only and only go to God alone. So if we look at it, the verse says, glory to the Lord, glory to the God in his sanctuary, glory to him in his mighty heavens, glory to him for his acts of power, glory to him for his surpassing greatness, Glory to him with the sounding of the trumpets. Glory to him with harp and lyre. Glory to him with trampoline and dancing. Glory to him with the strings and flute. Glory to him with the clash of cymbals. Glory to him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath sing glory unto the Lord. So it, this is how I, I see that. That, that, that we need to glorify God. And, 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 and whenever I, I read this, I, I think about David. And, and the David was a person who used to um, be never ashamed of uh, glorifying his God, right? And, 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 and all of us knows about the incident when the uh, ark of God was brought into the city of David, how David reacted. He was crazy. In, in human, in human um, uh, terms, he went crazy. He went dancing and he went uh, 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 totally crazy in, amongst the crowd, amongst his people. So what, what did, uh, so few, some of them were thinking like, well, he is a king and he is acting like this, right? And one, one of the persons who, were, who, who ridiculed David was, uh, one of his wife, uh, her name was Michael. So uh, she said, uh, complained to her, don't you feel ashamed to dance like that in front of all the slave girls there? And, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, so great to hear to his response. And I don't remember, but let's turn to that thing. It should, it, it's a second Samuel chapter six. And I'm going to read out quickly for the sake of time. And, and David says, I will become even more undignified than this. So this is, I'm reading from 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 22. So when, uh, when Mich Mich Michelle, uh, or Michael, I don't know the right pronunciation, Michael uh, ridicules David and says that how can you dance like this in front of uh, your, your, your ruler and how can you do that? And, and what the David's and David, King David answer was, I will become even more undignified than this. And I will be humiliated in my own eyes. So that's what he wants to say over here. For, for, for the sake of praising God, he can go to any extent. So that's what, is that's what is God is requiring from us is, he's our creator, he's definitely gonna take care of our needs. Whatever is our needs, he's gonna take care of it because we are his children. But our job as his children is to make sure that we glorify him that we cry unto him, that we praise him, that we give him all honors, and that we sing hallelujah unto him forever and ever. So uh, with that, I would conclude my message over here. And uh, we will say a short prayer here to, uh, to encourage all of us this day that for, for one thing, 
for one thing that that that, that don't worry about and we we always hear about all those um, we always hear about messages a uh, great reassuring mes messages but this is our responsibility this is our responsibility god has sent us to this earth for one purpose to glorify his name and i want to encourage all brothers and sisters is let's with our full force with resounding symbols that's this that's a loud sound with all our energy make sure that we glorify we give him the praise the glory the hallelujah that he is worthy of let's never miss out an option to dance to cry out to raise our hallelujah unto him let's pray heavenly father lord thank you lord for the scriptures that you have given us lord we as human being cannot fathom the your greatness you are beyond our, our our little brain lord we cannot we cannot think who you are lord but we have seen your attributes lord you are a loving god lord you are a providing god lord you are a ever you are a sovereign god lord you are a consuming fire who loves your people and destroys your enemies lord thank you father for being our father it is your destiny and you planned to select us from the millions this day to be together in you lord thank you father for giving us this opportunity to be with you and enjoying this fellowship lord help us lord to to every morning every day every night every moment of our life to give you thanks and praise not for what you have done unto us but also for how great you are thank you father thank you father for being with us this morning we submit this prayer unto you that you inculcate the, the the in us your name lord you built in us your your name lord let all of us target ourselves to be like you reaching the 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 purity that is required by you thank you father thank you father for everything we ask this prayer through our savior jesus christ Thank mm -hmm. you.